I'd say um, I'm very driven in terms of um, performance, be it performance for camera, film, stage, or um, improvised arts. And my background is very much for the last 25 years. That's what I've done solely. Um, I would say I'm very committed to spending time and effort with the youth who are now, I suppose, the future of the industry that I've managed to survive in for the last 25 years. So, yeah, committed and dedicated to development of the arts. Orchard Theatre Company was established in 2005. Um, prior to that, I'd been working, well, I trained in the early 80s with Jacques Lecoq in Paris. Um, and then I worked with Philippe Gullier as a clown. Um, I then toured most of Europe. Um, ended up in Russia, working for the Russian State Circus. Um, came back to the UK and worked as a freelance director and artist for a number of large establishments, including the Royal Shakespeare Company and the Garrick Theatre in the West End. And really, I suppose, Around 2005, I decided I'd sooner do this for myself than for someone else, so I established Orchard Theatre Company as a touring theatre company specialising in physical theatre and clown. So to set up my own theatre gave me the freedom to really go back to the roots of what theatre is about, driving a message, not being constrained by um, regulations constrained by budgets but saying it's about creating something that I feel proud of as a performance piece as opposed to something I feel proud of as a financial work um, so that was the main reason and also I foolishly enough thought well yeah I can do this better than some of the other people <laughs> um, so a lot of mask work a lot of Buffon and Clown and we toured extensively and then I suppose three years ago I settled into Limerick and well, the rest is sort of history you know um, we tried to put on a variety of performances throughout the year um, some comic some very physical some touching some with a message there is place for art for art's sake but it will never make money the fine line between being a professional and, and making a living out of it is saying this is art but also people want to see it and they want to enjoy it and they want to walk away and talk about it afterwards. The biggest disadvantage I suppose being a performer principally is at the end of every show there's a huge round of applause and the, the cast get greeted and told how great they were and I'm stood in the background going what about me so yeah there's a there's a little selfishness in there about being a director that um, sometimes people don't perceive the work or the effort that you've put in behind the scenes such a big success because one it was a topic that everyone regardless from sort of 17 onwards can relate to this was the topic of four guys who were bouncers at a nightclub. That's the challenge for theatre going forward, is to have that connection with an audience. 